evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of lightweight. Remember, stick and move. So we are underway here. Round one scheduled for 12. Go get him! So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Diego Corrales has got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Little head hunting with the left. Rid of that punch from his opponent, well blocked by Diego Chico Corrales. Good job! Halfway through this round, he gets off with a combination up top. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Another flush shot up top. left hand last 10 seconds of this first round blocks the headshot good one too by Diego Chico Corrales Thunder's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take here we go, round two is underway. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Diego Corrales. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night.
Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Hey, gotta see that coming. Let's go. Able to dismiss that body shot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice one-two by Diego Chico Corrales. Showing you some defense there with the block. Corrales is giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Diego Corrales. Ten seconds to go in this round. Thunder's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. The water in the corner. You're doing fine. Number three is underway. Oh, <laughs> Took a shot, now he gives a left. Morales is applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed, find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out of the range where he can control you, where he can use that speed. Well off the mark by Chico Corrales. Returning fire, well done by Thunder. Side to side. Reaching the halfway mark of this Next. round. Next, Face yourself. Diego Corrales' punch didn't come close. Good work defensively by Chico Corrales. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him. And then he timed them beautifully. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Corrales' combination punching is working well here. That's okay, let's go. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Watch the hook. Come on. Oh, and he's got something for him.
him himself, and it's a left hand. Fires off the hook. Look at that. It's okay. Pay him back. Pace yourself. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Diego Corrales is ruined with that punch right there. Deep breath, Tom. Deep breath. There you go. That's the best. Right, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Hey, listen. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of the rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep moving, keep moving! in the clinch. There you go. Corrales with a block punch. Beat him to the punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. And just grabbing on to his opponent. seconds you gotta land a big punch now no doubt about it you are losing this fight you need to throw and land a big show this is yours you hear me escuches this is your fight. You Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Back 
to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Don't stay in one spot. And he just holds on there. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Sharp and accurate one-two by Chico Corrales. Halfway into round number five here. Right back to it upstairs. Gaddy's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just Getting away from that right hand is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Landed a good solid combination. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Diego Corrales. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. You're letting this guy get away. Come on. This is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. The start of the sixth round. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Nowhere close that punch by Chico Corrales. Southpaw right jab, then the left hand. Diego Corrales is making for a clinic here in combination punching. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Work from both men. They each got a shot in. 
reaching the halfway point of round number six. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Good power punch, the right hand landed. He's in bad shape, he does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And the old one-two by Diego Chico Corrales. Corrales' ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase, he is damn solid. Perfectly executed combination. Gaddy's down. He's going to have to beat the count. One, two, three, four, five. Keep so moving. he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Just missed that shot up top. Diego Corrales is enjoying a good lead, and he just showed you why in that last round. Teddy, he's the fresher fighter. He has his legs. As we're in the deeper stages of this fight, he still seems like he has his gas tank on full. Yeah, and he has his trainers and all his people in his camp to thank for it because they did the work before they got there. There's another left hand from him. giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Keep working the body. Thunder's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher, but in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. Did you see that? Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. Gaddy smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Chico Corrales' power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.